Hello welcome to Objective Question Answer MCQ's YouTube channel. With a positive vibes let's start this video. Question number 1. Which one of the following food item does not provide dietary fiber? Option A Whole Grains Option B Fruits and Vegetables Option C Whole Pulses Option D Milk The right answer is Option D. Milk Milk does not provide dietary fibers. It provides proteins and calcium. Question number 2. Which of the following sources of protein is different from others? Option A peas. Option B gram. Option C cottage cheese, painter. Option D soybeans. The right answer is option C. Painter also provides protein, but it is different from other sources mentioned in the option, because all others are pulses but Painter is a milk product. Question number 3. Which of the following nutrients is not present in milk? Option A Protein Option B Vitamin C Option C Vitamin D Option D Calcium The right answer is Option B Vitamin C Vitamin C is not present in milk Question number 4 Read the food items given below. Wheat Ghee Iodized salt Spinach Palak Which of the above food items are energy giving foods? Option A1 and 4 Option B2 and 4 Option C1 and 2 Option D3 and 4 The right answer is option C 1 and 2 Wheat contains carbohydrates and ghee contains fats and hence are energy giving foods Question number 5 Read the following statements about diseases. 1. They are caused by germs. 2. They are caused due to lack of nutrients in our diet. 3. They can be passed on to another person through contact. 4. They can be prevented by taking a balanced diet. Which pair of statements best describe a deficiency disease? Option A1 and 2 Option B2 and 3 Option C2 and 4 Option D1 and 3 The right answer is option C 2 and 4 Deficiency diseases are caused due to the lack of certain nutrients in body. Therefore, it is always recommended to consume balanced diet. Question number 6. Given below are the steps to test the presence of proteins in a food item. 1. Take a small quantity of the food item in a test tube, add 10 drops of water to it and shake it. 
2. Make a paste or powder of food to be tested. 3. Add 10 drops of caustic soda solution to the test tube and shake well. 4. Add 2 drops of copper sulfate solution to it. Which of the following is the correct sequence of the steps? Option A 1, 2, 4, 3 Option B 2, 1, 4, 3 Option C 2, 1, 3, 4 Option D 4, 2, 1, 3 The right answer is option B. 2, 1, 4, 3. The correct sequence of testing the presence of proteins is 2, 1, 4, 3. Thank you so much for watching our videos. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel Objective Question Answer MCQs. And always remember, never stops learning, because life never stops teaching.